This is what's known as a cotton bulb. It's the middle stage in the cotton growing process which takes a seed planted in the ground and ends up making it um, into a pair of jeans or even a t-shirt. Grade 4 students from Emerald State School have come out to Dave McCullough's property here in Emerald to learn about the cotton growing process. First thing you do with After Mr. McCullough had explained the process of cultivating the ground, planting the cotton seed, and then waiting for the bowl to flourish, it was time for the group's questions. Two or three more times. To when the leaves are all gone and you've just got cotton left, you go through with the harvester. Is there any special thing that, uh, that the cotton picker's got to put, pull the um, cotton out? Yes, there's, there's spindles in the, in the cotton picker, and there's 1,040 of them. And they all, sp as, as the cotton pick is working, they all spin round and they, they're just like a finger. They just attach, the, the cotton attaches to them and pulls out like that. big thing. How does, how does all the uh, dirty stuff comes in too? Well that's just the leaves off the bush or a bit of dust off the ground and, and the machine doesn't blow it all out but when it goes to the gin that'll all come clean. How, how, does, um, how does that thing over there get to, to make it and all that? Well there's a big ram there's a big hydraulic ram, a big press, that the cotton, when it gets pressed down that hard, that it's pressed that close together, it doesn't spring up again, and it'll just stay together like that. Uh, why is the, um, black soil the main feature for growing cotton? The black soil is, is good for growing cotton because it holds so much water. In a, in a lighter soil, you, you couldn't irrigate it. it you, cotton uses that much water that you couldn't irrigate it fast enough to keep up the requirements of the cotton, which is, it, it has its greatest need of water in the very hot weather. How does the harvester just take the cotton instead of taking all of the whole plant? Well, as the, as the harvester moves through the crop, those, there's a thousand spinning fingers in the machine. And as the, bush comes, as the bush comes through the plant, the spinning fingers all get right inside the bush and are spinning. And you can imagine something spinning with a, the, the fingers are all got spikes on them too. And as they come close to that cotton, they pick it up and they, the, the cotton winds around the finger. And then the fingers go through the machine and as it goes through, there's, another, there's a pad called a doffer. It's made of rubber and it's spinning and it wipes the cotton off the finger. And when the cotton falls off the finger, it falls down and then there's a vacuum cleaner effect. We'll pick up that cotton and blow it up into the top. Questions answered, the fun began. 